Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and in this video I'm going to describe the essential things that you need to know about drone training in the USA. If you want to become a drone pilot who operates UAV for hire or reward in the USA's National Airspace System then stay tuned. I'm going to explain the basics in plain English and mention some websites that may be of use to you in your training and career. This video is specific to drone training in the USA. There is another video in this playlist about the processes for training in the UK. Check my channel and playlist for details and perhaps you'd like to subscribe so that you'll be the first to hear about new videos on related subjects. The information I provide here is based on my understanding of the information provided by the FAA. You are strongly advised to check the details yourself and discuss them with your training organisation for clarity. The first thing you need to do is to know your regulations and the laws. The FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, has strict guidelines that you must follow if you are to become a drone pilot and especially a professional being paid for your services. These rules and regulations are designed to minimise the risks of any conflict with other aircraft, damage to property or injury to persons, wildlife or livestock. There are variations in the rules between flying your drone as a hobby and flying for paid work or other reward. A drone hobbyist doesn't need to have a remote pilot certificate but as you might expect the professional pilot does need to follow stricter regulations and these include gaining an RPC. Let's discuss some of these rules, specifically those for the professional pilot as laid out on the FAA's website and the address on the screen now. This is not an exhaustive list and it is highly recommended that you check the FAA website for the most recent updates and a full list of the regulations. Everything you need to know is there and it should be your prime source of information. Here are a few of the professional drone pilot requirements. You must be at least 16 years old. There is no minimum age requirement for drone hobbyists, but due to labour laws, one must be of a certain age before being paid for a service. In order to fly UAS under the small UAS rule, part 107, you must have the remote pilot certificate. There are hundreds of FAA approved training organisations across the USA who can train you for the exam. If you're a private pilot with a Part 6C1 certificate and you've had a flight review in the past 24 months, then you can elect to take an online training course that focuses on UAS knowledge. See the address on the screen now for details. You'll also need to pass TSA, Transportation Security Administration, vetting. As most Americans already know, they're the ones who control who can fly, even as a passenger on an aeroplane. They carry out security checks on would-be professional drone pilots in the interest of clients, companies and the government. And now a few words about UAV aircraft requirements. Your drone must weigh less than 55 pounds for safe and legal flight and it must be registered with the FAA if it weighs over 0.55 pounds. You can register your drone at the address on the screen now. If your UAV weighs more than 55 pounds, then it must be registered using the paper-based registration process. Your UAV flights will be restricted to Class G airspace. There are various apps available as well as physical aeronautical charts that show the division of airspace in a given area. Download the FAA's own Before You Fly app and it will tell you if there are any restrictions in your location. Your training school will teach you how to read aeronautical charts and how to understand the division of airspace. You will also need to do a pre-flight check of your UAV. This should be obvious to anyone operating any aircraft for any reason. Pre-flight checks reduce the risk of mechanical malfunctions and the potentially dangerous and expensive consequences of your drone crashing. Here are a few more words about the Small Unmanned Aircraft Regulations, Part 107. The fastest route to obtaining an RPC, Remote Pilot Certificate, is to attend a course provided by an FAA-approved training organisation. There are actually many of these available online, but you may need to be willing to go to an on-site campus for part of the course so that you can get hands-on training. 
Some of the things covered in certification courses are a history of drones, the physics of how they work, and how the controls work. You will also learn about weather principles in regards to flying drones. Most importantly, you will gain experience and instruction from qualified instructors. They will teach you about safety and FAA regulations as well. In addition to certification courses, there are also supplemental classes you can take to enhance your skill set. Visit the address on the screen now for some examples of introduction, supplemental and specialised drone training courses that you can follow online and which cost as little as $10. With the right education and training, you'll be well on your way to becoming a successful professional drone pilot in the field of your choosing. Here's a few words about general RPAS operating rules. Follow the airspace restriction rules for professional pilots at all times. Check for temporary or permanent airspace restrictions and no drone zones. Always fly below 400 feet at ground level and do not fly over groups of people. Give way to manned aircraft. Never control your drone from a moving vehicle. Never fly when tired, stressed, emotionally upset or under the influence of drink or drugs. Inform any airports, airfields and heliports within a five mile radius of your intentions in your chosen operating area. To fly a drone safely and legally, you need to cultivate situational awareness so that you can anticipate risks and problems before they occur. This will give you the ability to maintain control and bring the flight to a safe conclusion if necessary. Here are a few tips about a career as a drone pilot. Making a living by flying drones is becoming a more and more widespread career trajectory for many. This is due to a massive technological boom in the UAS market. The digital age has shepherded in a new era where jobs in the tech field are developing by leaps and bounds. The starting salaries are pretty enticing, with many jobs starting at between $45,000 and $65,000 per year. Training to become a commercial drone pilot is appealing due to the versatile nature of the certification. Drone training is open to anyone who wants to learn a new and useful skill that will get you somewhere in today's job market. The typical drone certification course costs around $4,000 whereas tuition at a traditional college averages out to be nearly $27,000 annually in 2017. Certain people are typically drawn to seek out drone pilot training. Some of these groups include experienced quadcopter hobbyists wanting to transition into being paid for their skills, former military personnel looking for a civilian career, and even photographers interested in growing their business by offering aerial photography. People seeking a new career in a growing market are also flocking to take certification courses. Finally, let's look at the drone career opportunities. There are a lot of new careers being created thanks to drone technology in fields where the tasks are either dirty or dangerous to humans. Drones reduce the risk of injury or death to human operators in hostile environments. Inspecting structures, surveying natural disaster sites, and aiding law enforcement are all examples of how drones can minimize these risks. Archaeology is another interesting field that has greatly benefited from the use of drones. Drones aid archaeologists in surveying new sites of interest and help them better prepare their team for the dig. They save money and have unprecedented access to areas previously thought unreachable by any means other than expensive flyovers and dangerous hikes. Surveying using LiDAR, map making and 3D modelling are fields that have greatly benefited from UAV pilots. Drones have contributed to the advancement of new photographic techniques that create a finely detailed view of the landscape. Drone wedding photography is becoming increasingly popular as you can capture all the events on the big day without interrupting the flow of the proceedings. And the sky really is the limit with videography, or 400 feet of it at least. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Please give the video a thumbs up, share it, and add a comment below.